Real Estate Transactions, presented by Ashley Martin. Physical locations involve some form of real estate transaction, and all real estate transactions are legal and binding if and only if the agreements are in writing. Once you and your commercial broker have determined for the location of your business, there are a couple things that need to be addressed before moving forward with this major financial investment. Lease or rental agreement and a mortgage application. Here are some questions to ask yourself when deciding on leasing or purchasing. Is the rent quoted gross or net? Are there any incentives like rent reductions, rent-free periods, tax, or borrowing incentives? Is building equity important to me? Will the business outgrow this space? Is this location where I really want to be? Are all my specific needs being met? Lease or rental agreement. There are three types of commercial lease agreements. Full service lease. This lease is for office building where the rent is all inclusive, no hidden costs. This means that the landlord is responsible for paying the expenses associated with the property, such as taxes, repairs, and maintenance. Net lease. Lower annual rent that can be either a single, double, or triple net lease. These net leases mean that the tenant is responsible for the rent and monthly costs associated with maintaining the property, like property taxes and insurance. Modified gross lease. This lease is fixed, which means no hidden costs, or unexpected costs. Rent remains the same and utilities and janitorial services are covered by this lease. Negotiations. Request the terms in writing. If the agreement isn't to your liking, write a business letter of intent that represents your offer or counter offer. Convince the landlord why you would be the best tenant. Fit Small Business has a list of things you should include in your letter of intent. Statement with your intent to lease. Description of your business. Number of years in business. List of products and services, including pricing. Your proposed terms. Terms include rental price, type of lease, and more terms. Common lease terms. Although the pay structure may be different, all leases include things like use clause. States a type of business that can use the space. Length of lease. Usually ranges from 3 to 10 years. Assignability. Makes it possible to include the lease in the sale of a business. Capital expenditures. Determines who is responsible for repairs, maintenance, and other costs. Rent and escalation. Specifies monthly and annual rent. Also allows landlord to legally increase the rent during the lease. Deposit. It's refundable and it protects the landlord from delinquent tenants and damages to the property. Lease build-out credits. Ability for a tenant to make leasehold improvements at the expense of the landlord. Termination clause. Allows the tenant or landlord to terminate the agreement under certain conditions. Rent abatement. Specifies, specifies that if the property is damaged, then the tenant won't have to pay rent or will be allowed to pay a reduced rent until the damage is fixed. If you plan on renting, make sure you negotiate favorable lease terms that you and the landlord can agree on. If you've decided that you want to purchase a business location instead of leasing, here are some tips to help you get ready to apply for a mortgage. Determine how much you should borrow. You should borrow enough to meet current business needs. Then you need to determine your down payment, which is usually 20 to 25% of your loan. So if you request a loan for $500,000, be prepared to come up with $100,000 to $125,000 in cash. Figure out how you are going to repay the loan as it is structured. Prepare documentation to give to them. It usually ranges from three to five years in financial statements, which are income tax returns, leases, asset statements, original corporate documents, and personal finance records of the business owners. Here are some more tips to help you get ready for the mortgage application. Covenants and conditions that may be required after the loan is secured. If your business falls short of these, your bank may deem that your loan has entered into default. So be ready to give quarterly and annual income statements, balance sheets, 
tax returns. Businesses will meet certain tests in the future, so be prepared for tests. Proof of positive cash flow and certain debt to cash flow ratio. Hidden costs to consider. Legal fees. Survey charges. Loan application fees. Appraisal charges. Every item that will be charged against your loan or that must be prepaid. Last but not least, have patience. All in all, you know what your budget is. You know what your business needs are. Use this information to determine what is best for you and your business. I suggest hiring an attorney to help with understanding the lease agreement, negotiations, and the mortgage application. Ask tons of questions and consider all avenues in obtaining the location for your business. Thank you.